picks, man. Do picks matter to your tone? Well, guitar companies seem to think so. And if you've ever played with a pick versus playing with your fingers, you'll notice a different tone too. So, kind of carry this out to um, the thickness of a pick. So here's a, here's a Fender Heavy. These are about about one millimeter usually. This is a celluloid pick. Um, compare that to a medium, which I should have somewhere. Uh, I think this is here. We go. It's a medium. And how the pick interacts with the string, but striking the string the string responding to it, the thickness of the pick, how much give it has versus how stiff it is, it all matters. So a heavy pick will sound different than a medium pick. It's gonna feel different in your hands. Um, how is it going to sound different though? You can, you can test that out with one pick. Take a regular pick, play with the tip, and then turn it sideways and play with like the nubby end and you'll get a different tone. The less the pick touches the string, you'll get a, a sharper, um, crisper attack. Whereas you play with the, the side of it, the nubby rounded end, you're gonna get more uh, warmer attack, cut off some of the highs, it's gonna sound different. Experiment at home. So, it's the shape of the pick. It's the thickness of the pick. It's the material of the pick. So, it's, some picks will be smooth, and some picks will be will have a, a roughed-in surface. So, it's kind of a roughed-in surface on this one. This is a, a nylon, carbon nylon pick from Pick Boy. Um, so... The picks all feel different, and some of that is player's preference as, as far as not dropping the pick and how to hold it. Um, so some some picks have like a rubber coating on top of them, so and, and grooves and circles. So this is really tougher to drop. It's it's easier to control that particular pick. This pick is supposed to be. I'll try to get a. This is the, the Dave Control pick. Um, it depends how you hold it. It varies its thickness. I don't know if you can see that in the, in the camera. But the tip is, is thicker, the middle is thin, so if you hold it back here, it, it acts more like a thin pick and it really bends a lot. Look how easy that bends. But if you hold it more like that, it, it acts like a stiff pick. So you have like the best of both worlds. Um, so really just a ton of different variations when it comes to picks. And a lot of people just kind of pick the one that they feel is most comfortable. Um, and they don't think about it too much more. And someone say, hey, you know, try this pick out. And, you know, it, it's, it's used, people usually say, oh, well, it's, it has a feel in your hand. But it really depends on how it sounds, too. Um, I don't know if you notice, I have some, some wood picks in here, too. These are made out of uh, various hardwoods. And believe it or not, these picks they sound different than the, the plastic picks, but they actually sound different between themselves, between the different types of woods. They actually have different tones as well because the woods have different hardnesses to them, and these picks have different thicknesses as well. And because these are all these are all handmade, so the, the shape of each one is a little bit different. So again, the sharper the tip, you're gonna get a, a different tone than a, a more rounded tip or whatever. This one's a little bit thinner, this is a lighter wood. So you'd be surprised. So many variations on tone come not from the guitar, not from your pickups, not from what tubes you put in your amp, but what's in your hand. The pick that you're holding 
can change your tone. So I recommend just get a get a bunch. You don't need to get this many, but get a bunch. Um, you know, put your favorites and you know, get a bunch of your favorites. Get a, a a selection of other ones to try out. Get some thin picks. Get some different shapes. Get some thick picks. Um, get some stubby ones. Get you know, get the the the, the jazz ones, and um, see what what you like. And what you like, how it feels, what's comfortable. And then how it sounds. Um, this is my newest pick. This is a pick boy uh, bone pick, and um, let's see if we can get a shot here. It's it's rounded in the front for your thumb, and the back end. There we go. It's this little groove there for your finger, so it's easy to hold. Very comfortable, and it's got a very sharp tip to it. So it's bevel on the edges to a tip. And you really get a nice striking tone there. It's a little tougher to strum with, but you can do it. But for solo notes, it's fantastic. Um, some of the thinner picks, or even the heavies, but not super, super heavy. It's just a regular heavy. You can strum with if you, if you have a light touch. You know, if, you, if you're strumming and you, you, you allow a flex when you're strumming back and forth. Like this. So you strum it up, strum it down. If you allow a little bit of flex there, you can treat a heavy pick like a medium. Um, whereas something this thick is a little bit tougher because, well, it's just so thick that it's tougher to strum with. But it, it can be done. So next time you pick up your, your guitar and you plug into your favorite amp and you're thinking about your, your favorite pickups, etc., etc. Your favorite speaker, uh, what what tubes you're using, what what you know what cord you're using to, to plug in with. Think about your picks, and these things. I mean, this is like the cheapest upgrade to your tone that you can make. Um, a, a regular pick is like twenty five cents. Get a bunch, get a few different ones. Get you know, spend a dollar, spend two dollars on a pick, and see the difference in your tone. And comment in the section below. I want to hear. What pick is your favorite pick and why? And, um, yeah. And if you did see this video and tried a new pick and liked it, come back and comment too. I'll have more, um, more comments on these, uh, more, uh, I'll do a video on these, these, uh, wooden picks, which are really neat. Um, but I just want to give an overview on the discussion topic of guitar picks. All right, Birdman out.